Good morning, my name is Brenna Rubio and I'm on staff here at New Life Community Church here in Artesia. Uh, it's been a privilege over the last 18 months or so to be involved with the developing partnership of churches, civic organizations, and of course our city government, a partnership we're calling Artesia in Action. The vision of Artesia in Action uh, is in many ways very simple. It's about bringing hope and restoration to our community through beautification projects and potentially other efforts. I'd really like to thank City Councilman Victor Manalo, City Manager Maria Dadian, uh, and many others serving with the city who have been so helpful. And just for the opportunity to share and join with you by video today, uh, sharing about how Artesia in Action started, what we've accomplished already, and how we're dreaming for the future. Let me share a little bit first about how Artesia in Action started up. Uh, in many ways, Artesia in Action began through the example of a similar and very successful, uh, just very productive project called the Compton Initiative. The Compton Initiative uh, is a 40-year commitment of churches, civic organizations, and city government uh, to bring real change to that city with all of its different problems. And the Compton Initiative sponsors huge quarterly cleanup efforts, uh, efforts that draw thousands of people uh, to each event. In fall 2010, New Life Community Church started participating with the Compton Initiative with a real vision from the beginning uh, that we were doing so with the purpose of figuring out what could we do in our own communities. How can we learn through our participation in the Compton Initiative uh, and, and get more of a vision for um, similar projects uh, here in Artesia. At the same time, then Mayor Victor Manalo was also exploring uh, the Compton Initiative, meeting with the, the leaders there, and he was beginning to ask some of the same questions uh, about Artesia and what could happen here. So within a few months, he approached New Life, uh, and we were thrilled to say, yes, let's work together. And that's how the project began. There were several months of initial meetings where we were gathering together uh, other churches in the area, other civic organizations, having conversations, uh, really just exploring who might be willing to partner with us, and then what kinds of projects might we be interested in doing. So the beginning effort started in about March 2012. Um, it was only in August 2012 that we really were able to start getting our feet wet uh, with the first project. And that first project was a really good one. It was really interesting. Uh, we were able to go up to a neighborhood uh, around Paddlefoot Park in Northern Artesia uh, and I think make a real difference uh, by helping to clean out a former gang hideout in that community. The city had identified this large property as an active gang hideout uh, and they had been able to move the gang members off the property. They were even in the process of purchasing the property uh, at the time they asked us to consider cleaning it up. The real problem with the property was that it was still just a huge mess. Uh, you'll probably see some images of that. I mean it was just filled with trash. The other big problem was that there was fencing around the property uh, and even some illegal structures that really impeded visibility. So how was the city to know if the gang members came back in? Uh, how were the police to be able to see easily what was going on in the property? It was a real issue. So we agreed, we were thrilled uh, to join and to, to do that cleanup as our first project. So that morning with the city's logistical support, a group of 40 volunteers completely cleaned up the property. We tore down the fencing elements that blocked visibility, tore down those illegal structures, we swept and we hauled out so much trash from the property that we completely filled up two huge trash bins. The difference was just incredible and I think it made a real statement to the com community. Unbelievably, with that many hands, the entire cleanup took less than two hours. So since that first project, we've had two other cleanups focused on large trash, providing not only the large bins uh, that people need to collect items like mattresses and sofas, but also providing the helping hands to get the trash where it needs to be. There are two big reasons uh, that this kind of project has appealed to us. Uh, one, without regular, regular opportunities to get rid of trash items like this, uh, they tend to be just dumped on the streets, on the sidewalks, in the alleyways, and it really creates a problem of urban blight. Uh, it makes it harder for people to take pride in where they live and work when there are those sorts of eyesores uh, just cluttering the streets. So we've tended to focus on neighborhoods the city has specifically identified to us as having this kind of issue. First in Paddleford Park and then in the neighborhood at the southeast corner of Norwalk and South Street. Uh, and it, I think we've really made a difference when we've been able to do that uh, in the first neighborhood in Paddleford Park. I remember not only picking up mattresses and couches, but actually a couple of old toilets that had just been sitting on the street uh, for, well, I don't know how long, at least several weeks uh, at the time that I was, I was up there and looking around. 
So these projects have also allowed us to get into different neighborhoods, uh, to make connections with the people living there, uh, to introduce them to who we are, communicate that we care, uh, and ask them questions about what matters to them, uh, what their own dreams are for their own community. By the second project, I think we had really found our groove uh, with this part of it, and we challenged the people participating in the cleanup not only to haul trash, but really to just, to just do whatever uh, was in front of them to bless the people in the neighborhood as they went out knocking on doors. So beyond the large trash cleanup, we actually had lots of great conversations. Uh, we cleaned up a few yards because it was there and we could, uh, and we made some great new friends in the neighborhood. As we look to the future, we have a few fun projects already in the works for the coming months, and we're actively inviting more organizations, more churches, more civic groups to join us in this work. Uh, in just a few weeks, we'll be assisting the city with their annual large trash cleanup, while also having another team that will be leading uh, nearby a very family-friendly beautification project. They'll be planting uh, some flowers and other shrubs and refreshing some paint near the new playground at Artesia Park. We really have a strong commitment to involving the kids, our youth, in these projects and giving them a good taste while they're young for being active in their community. Then after that project, we plan to return to Paddleford Park once again, this time to help with a rehabilitation project involving an older area of the community center that's frequently used by the neighborhood youth. This will be our first big painting project and we're really excited to step out and help in this way. I just want to close by acknowledging by name the other wonderful churches and organizations already partnering with New Life to create Artesia in Action. Christ Central of Southern California, Trinity Christian Reform Church, Cornerstone Community Church, the Rotary Club, and once again our city government. It's a group effort and it's really been a pleasure to serve together. Thank you for your time.